Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and I'm at the VMware booth with Gabriella from VMware. Uh, Gabriella, so how does uh, VMware help service providers take advantage of all the opportunity that's offered by 5G networks? Yeah. Uh, well, we like to say that there will be two kinds of operators um, in 5G. Uh, either the virtualized ones or the ones that will fail. So, you know, we are a major player in cloud virtualization technology, you know, from all the way from core to edge. So, we believe we can actually enable them with the right path to deploy 5G uh, because it's actually essential for the success of 5G deployment. Part of the, uh, both of, I guess, the blessing and the curse of 5G is that the network gets uh, in, in infinitely more complex. You know, you have um, a, a NFB and SDN now instead of individually managed boxes. And it seems like that, that um, has added a new dimension of difficulty for operators. So as we're going to 5G, NFB and SDN come into play because it's a virtualized network, as you mentioned. What impact has NFB and SDN had on the network operations? Uh, obviously, as you mentioned, it's been a, uh, this is a transformation, transformative uh, moment. Uh, I think it's very difficult to distinguish nowadays where the network ends and cloud begins. So this network cloudification is real and actually it's just accelerating right now. Uh, I would say network operations is uh, uh, impacted uh, big time by this, right? If you think of skills in the old world of operations, now we need to translate all of this in a world of cloud and IT operations. It means that things are probably going to get more complicated because we get it easier uh, afterwards with more automation and visibility. Okay. And it, as the network gets more complicated, the service provider still has to make sure that services are are, are guaranteed all the way through their network. Um, so, so with service assurance, that's that's clearly changing. What would you say some of the key characteristics are of a, a service assurance technology? No, I agree. So, that uh, need of assuring a service doesn't change. Uh, if if anything. Uh, consumer demand, whether it's a consumer, consumer, or an enterprise company, are only going up, right? I think the change is that definitely the network is more dynamic, not as static as before, and the characteristic of a modern service assurance is, first of all, needs to absolutely cut across any type of network, physical, virtual, uh, anything which has been implemented, and it's not a switch one to two. Second is that it needs to be more dynamic. Is something that needs to bring in ability to discover services dynamically and then eventually you know resolve and adapt services uh, by basically driving how the network actually operates the third aspect is that applications are becoming a fundamental part of this network right. so moving up the focus just not just on network element but how applications behaves application will need to be distributed uh, routed change it scaled uh, is another key component. And uh, um, I would say the last part for me is that uh, we can look at multiple aspects of assurance. I think there's a, a variety of use cases and assurance and customer experience that are now blending into each other. Uh, and uh, I would say all of this defines some of the new uh, modern aspects of that. So what sort of uh, product is, is VMware putting into place to sort of, a, to sort of address this? Yeah. Uh, so most of the focus here is that we are actually, uh, uh, you know, discussing our product VMware Smart Assurance, uh, very, very sophisticated and robust products uh, with actually many, many care deployments. I would say the difference here is that we are combining and marrying a traditional, uh, even though advanced, physical network world with a fully automated and virtualized network world. So a service assurance solution that actually, I would say, bridges two worlds. I like you to call it from physical to cloud, all the way from application to transport infrastructure. So all those layers between the physical network and the virtual network are all managed in the same way? Absolutely. Managed in the same way, but also the understanding of the problem, isolation, and the impact analysis uh, actually resides in a single location. Uh, and I would say the, um, the beauty of being part of VMware is that we have 
uh, an amazing amount of visibility into cloud resources. So a service assurance product in the world of VMware is actually able to extract and leverage a lot of data that we've actually been seeing for many, many years and expand from what we have done just in the cloud world uh, uh, to actually embrace and be augmented also in the, in the physical network side. So it fits in with the VMware's cloud strategy overall. Yeah, it does. We uh, top line strategy is about a message of how the world is evolving towards these four clouds, okay. right? The hybrid cloud world, the private cloud world, the edge cloud, and the telco cloud. So we really like to talk about a telco cloud uh, because we believe telcos are major players in cloud and will become even a uh, you know, larger player with uh, adoption of edge clouds, for which telcos are going to be uh, you know, a primary component of it. Uh, if you look at assurance in this, in this space, it absolutely plays in VMware strategy. Uh, we always been, uh, I would say, the forefront on delivering a reliable, uh, uh, stable, and assured infrastructure. And this is not changing from data center to cloud to telco network. Okay, so that's the um, you know how it fits into your strategy, and, and it, it it does seem that that it, uh, it it makes sense altogether, especially given VMware's uh, legacy and history um, with virtualization. How does it simplify things for the network operator? Well, uh, first of all, the ability to have a single environment uh, with a, a you know, single visibility across uh, all the different resources, uh, I would think it's a major advancement. Still today, you probably hit you know, 50, 60, 100 OSS environments around. I'm starting to see a dynamic where there's a lot of consolidation starting to happen. Right? Second aspect is uh, technical and uh, also a little bit more soft, meaning there's a technicality about managing, uh, uh, you know, legacy uh, physical networks and new cloud environments. But there is a, a people skill, a talent uh, that you are actually uh, many telcos need to undergo, and uh, basically a, a converged uh, environment from IT and network operations. So working with VMware for many years on virtualization technology, I think will actually help simplify the way that we look at operations. The more we will go further, you know, we mentioned, uh, we mentioned of course, uh, network function virtualization as a telco cloud. We're starting to see edge cloud uh, moving towards uh, you know, more the customer side. Uh, manage hosting is another type of cloud, infrastructure as a service, B2B and uh, SD1, software defined by the area network. If you look at all of these environments, uh, they're basically leading to uh, a more complex way of managing things. Yeah. We like to bring all together in a single environment. Yeah, that's interesting because e e individually on their own, all those elements you mentioned, you know, edge computing enables so many new services for service providers. SD-WAN is such a profitable thing for service providers and potential. So it, it, it really does matter that the network operator can see through, um, it can manage those uh, holistically and not just have different pieces of software for every piece of equipment. It's actually a leading strategy. Uh, we Our core message is around the telco cloud. We like to help uh, service providers and the telecommunication operators to look at this as a consistent platform infrastructure. Uh, single infrastructure, single operation, single policy, single security, and single assurance across this environment. Excellent. So now, how does this affect the, the business to business sort of enterprise side of, of what VMware does? Because it's known for obviously selling you know, to large enterprises and managing their networks. Actually, this is one of the major, uh, not shifts, but acceleration of strategy from uh, let's say IT supplier, IT data center supplier, expanding at the core of the network. Uh, we now have the assets such as uh, you know uh, SD1 by VeloCloud, enabling uh, basically a set of new revenues for telcos. Manage mobility services uh, powered by you know our Horizon platforms. The work that we do in hosted clouds, uh, looking at security and smart assurance, very interesting. A service assurance platform which is used very often to manage the core network. Right. We have many of our customers using smart assurance to manage their own enterprise customers networks. So the discussion happens on the business side where we are basically enabling them with new revenues 
uh, because everybody's trying to upsell uh, beyond connectivity. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so, I guess the last question is, you know, VMware as a company and its relationship to Dell, you know, this is one of the first uh, products, I guess, that comes out uh, uh, when, as VMware sort of takes on a new, uh, a, a, a new phase in its life. Um, uh, what value does VMware add to, to this, this particular product? I think, as you see, the product <clears throat> coming to VMware, uh, the first big release here, uh, you can see immediately the uh, synergy with our portfolio. Um, four core big scenario. Number one, we are fully integrating Smart Assurance with our uh, vCloud and FV NFEI platform. Uh, being able to, of course, isolate issues in a multi-tenant uh, environment uh, on top of our cloud infrastructure, uh, OpenStack, vCloud Director, NSX, so it's, it's key. Second aspect is full integration between Smart Assurance and VeloCloud. So being able to actually have automated discovery, uh, uh, you know, topology, root cause analysis, all the way from CPE to branch, all the way to transport infrastructure. The third aspect, uh, we actually have a full integration with our cloud management suite, a product called VRLI's Operations, which is very widely deployed. So we are now able to actually look at the physical infrastructure, export and ingest this into VRI's operations, providing a single dashboard and looking at performance management through machine learning and you know, dynamic thresholding to be able to actually have uh, the value for, again, an IT operator and a network operator <clears throat> in a single place. Uh, so as you can see, don't just Smart Assurance as a product, but now Smart Assurance being uh, effectively integrated with a set of offerings, uh, which VMware already has deployed in many, many cases in terms of the uh, network operators. Well, it'll be really interesting to see how this uh, gets used by operators and how, uh, how they benefit from this as we get uh, into 5G networks. Uh, Gabriella, thanks so much for talking with us today. I appreciate it. All right, thank you.